Jasper Groisman um, coming at you again. This time for the tens. This time for the tens. Um, Seven thousand unit um, and how to use it with the clips. So let's go over first what kind of clips are available. Um, this is the first kind, uh, and it's a me me it's a, usually white and has a metal tip. Uh, the contact point is metal. The second type are these black ones, and they have one contact point right over here, and a plastic piece that goes around your ear. And finally, we have this one, which has kind of become my favorite, and it has two contact points, one on each side. So um, I'm going to go over how to put just the dual-sided clip first, and it goes literally onto the tragus. It's one clip is all you need because it has two points of contact and it goes onto the tragus and that is it. Um, you don't need to worry about any other place in the ear. That I think is the easiest way to do it. It doesn't matter if you put it in this way or this way. Uh, both, both of the leads go in um, and it's going to be around the tragus and it's the most comfortable at least for me. The second type are these black ones where you would put the lead in here into the contact point and the black lead in here and again the first lead would go into the tragus I hope you can see and the second lead can be pretty much anywhere but I try to get it in as close as I can to the inside portion of the ear and it's a lot easier to do in the mirror by the way than trying to do <laughs> uh, by feel. Uh, and lastly, I'm not going to show this one, but um, they fit in similarly into the white ones. Um, the lead just slides right in, or normally just slides right in. There you go. Uh, and you only need two clips for for successful um, tense stimulation. So let's go over the setup on the machine itself. The machine looks like this. When you turn it on, and you do that by turning the little knob here, this one, uh, to at least one, and it will beep. And what you want to set up is the pulse width to 250. That you just lab label this width. And the frequency, which is uh, labeled rate here, at 25. Now, the time is set for 30 minutes. If you're having side effects or it's too uncomfortable, um, you can go down to 15 to 20 minutes, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can do this once a day, um, for th anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, if you're not seeing any results, you can increase twice a day, but usually no more than twice a day. And I would space it out by several hours between the treatments. The reason you don't want to do it anymore is because the vagus nerve will become refractory. In other words, no matter what input you're putting in, uh, how many times you're stimulating it, how hard you're stimulating it, how often you're stimulating it, it just will shut down and it won't, um, it won't continue to work. So it's kind of wasted effort. Um, so to get the most out of this, we want to limit it to roughly 30 minutes. There's some studies that show uh, 45 minutes still works. Um, I picked 30 minutes because of the studies that I have read. Um, so uh, that's that's the essential part of um, programming the the machine and using the clips. Uh, it's pretty easy, um, not rocket science, um, and you will need to do it for a minimum of a week to see any results, but more likely two weeks. This is not a one and done thing. Uh, you have to be consistent with it. Some people need up to 30 minutes um, to see any effects or recovery. It helps with many of the parasympathetic uh, nervous system problems that long COVID causes, the anomia causes, and even POTS. Um, that, that's it. Uh, it's that simple. Thank you.